All right. Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. The Storm Team Skycam Network does show we have, well, just a few clouds out there, but not of the threatening variety. A quiet close to the work week and temperatures have settled back just a little bit as well for many of us. Here's a look at your current conditions at Hector. It's 78 degrees, a north wind at 10 miles per hour. And in Grand Forks, a similar sky, just a couple of cumulus clouds drifting overhead, 79 on the thermometer, dew point in the 50s, so not too bad, a gust up to 20 miles per hour, not out of the question in Grand Forks. It is 87 in Aberdeen, but the farther north at east you go, the cooler we get, 73 Bedette, 73 Langdon, it's 80 in Jamestown, and in Lakes Country we have mid-70s for most, 73 in Detroit Lakes. Quiet weather all across the board here. Hardly any clouds. We head out to the Black Hills. We see a few thunderstorms, but that's about it here for the Dakotas and Minnesota heading into our weekend. And your hour by hour forecast shows that we stay quiet. Just a few clouds across Minnesota. We'll notice those winds that are a little breezy now decrease after sunset and temperatures will slip back for most into the 60s this evening. And then overnight, the 50s make an uh, appearance, especially up north where we'll have mid-50s briefly. Elsewhere, we start our weekend off around 60 degrees, the wind, the light, and look on there for a cloud. There's one down here. Yeah, that's about it, Brown County, South Dakota. Now, as we take a look at the midday forecast, temperatures will be a rising up about to where they peaked today. So we're going to bring the heat back, especially in our south and western counties. And it will be warmer up in northern Minnesota as well, although you'll be the coolest part of the region as we go through our start to the weekend on Saturday. So 85 to 90 in southeast North Dakota, that'll be the hot spot, very comfortable with light winds and dry weather all day on Saturday. All in all, it looks dandy and delightful. And here is a look at your planning forecast for Fargo-Moorhead. If you're staying in town, expect to start the day at 61 degrees. Hop on the lawnmower early because it does get a little bit warm as we head into the afternoon. 80 to 85 degrees is where we'll spend all afternoon. A northwest wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. You can see the heat with the colors in the deep reds from the Red River Valley. And points west where Jamestown will kiss 90 degrees. Same thing in Sisseton. Breckenridge, Wapiton, 86 degrees, and it looks like temperatures in the low to mid 80s for most of Lakes Country. I mentioned the chance of rain as we head through Sunday. We'll have a morning chance passing through the region from northwest to southeast with a few clouds as well. And again, with this passing shower or two, it doesn't look severe. In the afternoon and the heat of the day, though, down south, we'll have a chance for some thunderstorms developing primarily in our southernmost counties. We'll keep our eyes on that. Those may have a rumble or two to them like these that we saw earlier in the week. A lot of thunder and lightning over Fargo. This thunderstorm really picturesque even in the middle of the night lighting up the whole sky and the clouds even in the darkness. So Sunday brings the best chance of showers and rain and in Fargo only about a 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. There'll be a better chance up north during the day of rain and down south at night of thunderstorms. For next week, look at the heat build back into the region. 85 to 95 through the work week next week. And on again, off again, chances of showers. So pretty dry this weekend for a lot of people. Dry, yeah. fine, fine to get out. We could mm -hmm. sure use a lot of rain, we four could, inches yeah. below average. So hopefully we get a few drops in there with those chances. Thanks, Hutch. You bet.